Kyoto. Um, so I'm, I, I did that off of the version that she does, that she did on the Pitchfork live stream. Um, there's other versions where um, she's playing in that open B tuning. Um, but in that version, it's standard tuning on the fourth fret. So I thought that would be um, useful if you want to play this song in standard tuning. Um, so uh, the chords for the verse and the intro, the do 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 do, um, is G played like this. So it's second finger on the third fret of the low E, third finger on the third fret of the B, pinky on the third fret of the high E. Second finger, lean over to mute the A a little bit. Um, C. So it's, you swap out your first finger for where your second finger was. So your first finger takes over on the third fret of the low E, and your second finger takes the third fret on the A, which is now no longer muted. This chord is technically like some kind of C, sus2, bad 9 stuff. But, um, okay, so, um, and then the strum that she does is, is something something like this, right? So it's kind of like, the first beat is a low. It's like strum the low strings. Um, and then and then the rest of the strum is so it's kind of low, high, 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 roughly. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. I mean you could do it. You could not do the low high thing and play it more like this. So then it's just down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. One little variation in the second verse, in the second half of the second verse, so the said you called on his birthday, you were off by like 10 days part. second fret on the third fret of the low E with the first fret finger on the second fret of the low E. The other variation about the second verse is that the last measure, 25 felt like flying. Goes for that long. 25 felt Three measures or three or twelve beats. Two, three, four, two, three, three, three. Whereas the the first verse just ends the same. <laughs> chorus. Okay, so chorus. Now the strumming kind of gets more, you know, active. More of a. C played like this, so this is like a standard C, but the one with the third fret on the low E string. So first finger on the second on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the D, third finger on the third fret of the low E, pinky on the third fret of the A. She immediately picks up the second finger, making it this C sus2 kind of thing. So A minor, C, C sus2, back to the G. Then it's a D, which gets played a couple different ways. So it could be this, D sus4. I think she uses her um, thumb. If you play with your thumb, you can have your thumb play the second fret of the low E. I don't like playing with my thumb, so I would play that chord like this. So first finger on the second fret of the E, second finger on the second fret of the G, third finger on the third fret of the B, and pinky on the third fret of the high E. So this is one option. Another option is this without the pinky. So that's like a with the open E. In any of these cases, the first finger is, is kind of muting the A string. It doesn't really matter though. So this version, which is like a D sus4 over F sharp, this version is like a D sus2 over F sharp. A regular D sus4 or D sus2. She at one point plays this, which
which is the, it's like the C that you played, but moved up. So, you know. So those are all options. Either way, the progression is A, C, G, some kind of D. Then it goes A minor, C, B e minor, and again, some kind of D. I like going with the E minor. E minor is, of course, second fret on the A and second fret on the D. You could play it with your first and second or your second and third. She plays it with her second and third. <laughs> second fret of the D, third finger on the fourth fret of the A, don't play the low E string, you end up with this. It's some kind of, it's like sort of a version of an A7, A9, but with the C sharp. And then to C. And again, you can mess around with picking up that second finger to make it a C sus2 kind of thing. After the first chorus, that just happens once, and you have to say woo then. Um, After the second chorus, it happens a bunch of times, like maybe five times. It's like one more time than you think it's going to be. It's like... Yes, the strumming there becomes... It's interesting. It's like the feel becomes more like half. So you've been like... The strumming can actually go to more of like a strum every one like this, but maybe sort of only emphasize. So it's like a down, up, down, up, down, up, but I'm instead of going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, I'm going down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. I'm kind of emphasizing those beats. song if it didn't end on not not this chord this chord all right thanks very much let me know if you have any questions